what is up youtube in this video we're going to look at google's unified ml platform called vertex ai the idea of this video is to kind of provide you a high level overview so that you can explore this platform on your own later on so what is this google's vertex ai so google cloud kind of pitches it as a unified machine learning ai platform full range of team consists of data scientists uh, data engineers managers can kind of come together at one place to work on these different machine learning models uh, build them research on them scale them for production as well the basic idea behind this platform is google cloud wants to provide you all the tools at a single place uh, so it removes any friction of building machine learning models. So the platform has been built to cater people with varying levels of expertise there's one more key reason for Google Cloud to kind of build this Vertex AI platform to unify all these machine learning providings they were already doing into a single place. So before we go on to the demo, let's quickly look at what a usual machine learning uh, workflow looks like. The platform has been built to cater all the steps of these, this machine learning workflow one by one. It usually starts with a problem, basically. The next step is to ingest this data at a central place. So after that, you need to analyze this data which exists there and look for interesting features and trends within that. So you're trying to do a, some kind of an exploratory analysis of this data, initial exploratory analysis uh, to understand this data further and look out for like simple features or some complex features you can build further on to improve the prediction power of your model. As a third step, there's a lot of transformations which are involved to be done on this data basically so that this data is kind of in, is in the right format to be directly plugged into your pipeline for you to build the model you transform these different columns into into uh, the right features that's what you call feature engineering all right so after all these basic transformation that has been done the next step is for you to train this model using all this data a lot of times the models being trained are very simple uh, it doesn't require much of the computing power. There's also a lot of use cases where you kind of want to train the model at, at a full capacity. Uh, you want to train it at scale with all this data, petabytes or terabytes of data. After this model has been built, you also need to evaluate uh, for its efficiency and accuracy. See if the model is doing all right. See uh, if the model is doing what it is supposed to do. So towards the end of this workflow, you need to deploy this model somewhere for it to be used. For near real-time application to be used by people, you usually deploy these models as endpoints of APIs. But let's quickly look at all these services which come under the umbrella of Vertex AI. Part of the AutoML offering, you can see this vision, video, language, tables, forecast, which is basically new, BigQuery ML, and translation. So this is like the no-code slash slow-code workflow for someone who is beginner. For custom training workflow, there's experiment. Within experiment, there's data labeling, Model Builder SDK, TensorBoard. For training, there's already already like Visor, NAS, and the, the training module where you just push in the Docker image. There's also deploy and prediction. You need to deploy this model as an API and predict uh, uh, the outcomes basically when you put in the data. But there's also uh, the baseline, which is notebooks and pipelines, which is kind of core to building any custom machine learning model. All right, so now let's deep dive into Vertex AI. Uh, as soon as you come onto the Vertex AI platform, this is the console basically. So it provides access for you to use from console. You can also use it through CLI using the gcloud commands, etc. So as soon as you go onto the console, uh, on the left, these are basically all the steps we were discussing. The first one is like dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is already showing you the main core items, uh, like shows you all the data set you've created, like for preparation, training your models, or the models are kind of residing here if there are models you've created. Predictions is like the APIs you have built. So prediction endpoints goes here. So once you create all this, the stuff, they go into the respective boxes basically for you. So moving on, the next step, I think this is one of the core core areas in Vertex AI is the data set. So it provides you a central repository uh, where you can keep all the data set in place for the teams to work with. So you can click on create and add your own data set. Uh, you can select from the types uh, like image, tabular, text, video, or you can also upload your, if if you have some custom data set you, and you want to get data set directly from BigQuery, you can also do that uh, by using Jupyter Notebooks directly and putting it there. As a next step, let me look in, let me show you the workbench basically, which is the Jupyter Notebooks kind of live here. 
So all the notebooks basically you create, you kind of click on create new notebook, you provide the type of environment you want, and then you provide the machine type, the details of the machine, uh, as in the uh, configuration of the machine, and then you can create. Then uh, there's training. So once you are building custom models, or you're using AutoML, you can click here, you can type in like the data set from managed data set you want to use or and then you need to provide like what if what type of model you're trying to train and then it's like custom if there's like a managed data set it already provides you an option to use auto ml with custom you have to provide um, uh, the details of the model and then you need to provide the container of the model for example then there's the an option for you to choose like a pre-built container you want to use or a custom container so basically the idea is you package all the code as in for a custom model you deploy it as an image and then um, you use it further and this will basically scale it for you in terms of the machine learning training process. Then uh, the models kind of live here under this, under models basically. Um, all the, when you create models, you, they kind of live here. Endpoints live here. So after you're done with creating a model, you wanna host it as an endpoint. It easily provides you an option with click of a few buttons. You can just configure like the type of instance you wanna deploy on it will deploy as an API your model easily. Uh, yep, and then there are pipelines. Basically, these are relatively new, so you can automate the transformation step, the ETL part as pipelines here. These are called Vertex CI pipelines, which is not which is not very hard to do from Jupyter Notebook itself. So a lot of the stuff we are showing here, basically you can execute it from Workbench. When you have a Jupyter Notebook in place, you are just calling these APIs and using them as you go.